Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet and today we have another two Japanese whiskies on the cask. They're both from the same distillery. It's the Mars Shinshu Distillery. Mars Shinshu Distillery is a small, rather small, medium distillery that is not that well known internationally and it's a it's a nice little distillery and what is really really nice about the distillery is their location. The Shinshu Mars distillery is located on the mainland of Japan and it's pretty much in the middle, maybe a slightly to the south and it's just in the center of the island from east to west so it's in like their Alps it's in they say they have the central Alps they have the western Alps and um, it's right between the big mountains in one of their valleys um, the mountains are the Akashi uh, mountains and the Kiso mountains and when you go there you, it's it's wonderful you see how big it goes to all the sides and it's rather slow to arrive there because uh, I don't think they have a particular big highway to the uh, Shinshu Mars distillery uh, so you have to drive a few hours there but I think they are building a, a highway down from uh, up from uh, Fuji Gondemba and that is very close to uh, Tokyo and so yeah the distillery is um it does have a bit of a history it started making whiskey in the 19 uh, in 1949 and uh, it had been doing alcoholic beverages before that uh, i think they distilled other stuff uh, now they're owned by a company who also does wine so they are they they know what they do so they have they have expert personnel working on site what is really interesting is i've never seen that before other way so anywhere else is they don't have wooden fermenters they don't have stainless steel fermenters either they have uh, cast iron fermentation tanks and that is really keeping them busy and cleaning wise because you really have to clean these guys thoroughly and they climb into each of them and uh, steam them by hand so but if you'd like to see more about the distillery they have also really funky looking um, uh, distillation pots pot stills so um, have a look at the this uh, uh, at the youtube channel and you will find the shinshu mars distillery as a distillery video um yeah um what you see here is uh, what is very interesting is you have uh, only uh kasai uh, written here and Mars very small down the middle where here you have Mars as in the title that's because Kasai is the um, Japanese word for Mars and if you'd have the Mars below the Kasai it would be Mars Mars for everybody who speaks Japanese and English so they left out the uh, the Mars below there and you have that round dot there maybe that's supposed to be Mars but it has green stuff on it. What's the green stuff? Maybe that's the Japanese space colonies in the future. Uh, yeah. So, um, it's a blended whiskey, which is typical for uh, for Japan. Japan, the the blend industry uh, didn't have that that drop it had in the Scotch industry in the eighties, nineties. Um, they still uh, like the blend because uh, back in the days when the whiskey was introduced they they saw blends as like the biggest thing in the market and the culture of Japanese whiskey developed a bit differently than scotch scotch was going more into the single malt and the distiller had to make a really good single malt and there they had more the blending from the casks and different spirits so the blender was more important the master blender is in most of the distilleries is like the highest character in the distillery so he says ah, I need more of that stuff need more of that stuff more of that stuff and the distillery team manages that and he is like the creative guy who mixes everything together and creates the perfect mixture of flavors and the perfect blend so 
Um, the blender doesn't really care then, he just wants to have the flavors, so he doesn't really care if it's then um, declared as a single malt or a blended whiskey. So this here is a mixture between grain whiskey and malt whiskey, and that's why it's called a blend. Ooh, and it's a, a really fruity one. A really, really fruity one. It's, it's a mixture of ripe fruits and fresh fruits and a bit of a a slightly fermented fruits, so hmm, really, really awesome. Mmm, 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 mm. with forty percent ABV, also very light and soft, but you do have a bit more of a spicy touch in the flavor, um, and, and a slightly smoky note but most of the character is still fruits apples pears a bit of a grape touch there as well and ooh, the, the finish is more of a bit of a sticky sweetness going on so maybe there are some of the px casks in there as well hmm Mmm. Oh, mmm, nice. It's a, it's a nice sipping whiskey and that you could enjoy. Mm, yeah, would be a good everyday whiskey as well. So it's not, maybe it has some, it has a, a bit depth in it. It's not a, a really deep complex whiskey, but it has some depth. You can feel some different flavors going on there. Might be something else that you could find in the spiciness as well. But it's a, a nice drinking whiskey as well and I was really surprised because this is um, actually I don't know about the international markets but in Germany it's it's not that pricey it's uh, rather well rather good with 35 euros it's uh, below most of the other Japanese whiskey because in Germany the the Japanese uh, whiskies took a huge increase in uh, in price and usually you start with the the lowest whiskies from Japan you start at uh, 50 euros with like 55 dollars or something like that and now it's just this is one of the lesser known distillery you probably haven't heard of the Shinshu Mars distillery and maybe that's because that's why it's a bit less pricey because it's not that well known and not that hard in demand so yeah a little hidden gem yeah thank you very much for watching if you found this video interesting then please feel free to share it with your friends and see you next time